In this video, we will discuss about gray matter versus white matter. What is gray and white matter? They are found in both the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Gray matter contains neuronal cell bodies, dendrites, and synapses. White matter is composed primarily of myelinated axons that form communication pathways. What is the importance of gray and white matter? Gray matter is the processing powerhouse. White matter is the communication superhighway. Together, they ensure the seamless functioning of the nervous system, from sensory perception to motor execution. Number 1. Gray matter. Structure. It is composed of neuronal cell bodies, dendrites, unmyelinated axons, glial cells, and capillaries. It appears gray due to the lack of myelin and the presence of nissle substance. Function. It processes and integrates information. It is the site of synaptic transmission and neural computation locations. It is found in following areas in cerebral cortex. It is found in outer layer of the brain in basal ganglia. It is found in deep nuclei in the brain in spinal cord. It is found and found in the inner regions, for example, dorsal and ventral horns. Number 2 White matter structure. It is composed of myelinated axons oligodendrocytes, and fewer cell bodies, it appears white due to the high lipid content and myelin, function, it transmits electrical signals, between different gray matter areas and other parts of the central nervous system, it enables rapid communication and coordination, locations, it is found in following areas, in brain, it is found deep to the gray matter in most areas, spinal cord, it is found in the outer regions surrounding gray matter. Now to summarize this lecture, we will discuss the key differences between gray and white matter. 